Barack Obama has received his Nobel Peace Prize in Oslo. In his acceptance speech, the US president said he was humbled by the honour and acknowledged the irony of accepting the award while leading the United States through two wars. Perhaps there's never been a more controversial choice to make this walk, a war president coming to collect a peace prize, days after deciding to escalate a conflict, and a man in office for less than a year. Barack Obama may feel some embarrassment at his selection, but those who made it believe it is right. The question was actually quite simple. Who has done most for peace in the world the past year? If the question is put in Alfred Nobel's terms, the answer is relatively easy to find. It had to be U.S. President Barack Obama. In his Nobel lecture, the president addressed those who say he's not fit to be in the company of previous winners. Compared to some of the giants of history who have received this prize, Schweitzer and King, Marshall, and Mandela, my accomplishments are slight. I cannot argue with those who find these men and women, some known, some obscure to all but those they help, to be far more deserving of this honor than I. Obama talked of Gandhi and quoted Martin Luther King's own Nobel lecture and offered a justification for intensifying the war in Afghanistan. As a head of state sworn to protect and defend my nation, I cannot be guided by their examples alone. I face the world as it is and cannot stand idle in the face of threats to the American people. For make no mistake, evil does exist in the world. A nonviolent movement could not have halted Hitler's armies. Negotiations cannot convince Al Qaeda's leaders to lay down their arms. To say that force may sometimes be necessary is not a call to cynicism, it is a recognition of history. The protests in Oslo reflect what many feel about this award, that on a whole range of issues, this is a president who's yet to deliver. Uh, when this is announce, uh, announcement come, uh, I mean, he's then choose the Nobel Peace Prize this year. And some opinion, this is a little, little bit too early. Uh, so there also some reason. So we have to wait. Obama's spending just 24 hours in Oslo, not the usual three days. He's been accused of being impolite to the Norwegian royal family. He wanted this to be low-key, though, recognition that however great the honour, the hard work lies ahead.